He stood for everything I wanted to be if I was going to be successful. Look, deep down, we all wanted to be Clive Davis. The greatest record man of all time. The one, the only, Mr. Clive Davis. Travis Joplin. Paul Simon. Miles Davis. Bruce Springsteen. Aretha. The Grateful Dead. Carlos Santana. Tony Braxton. TLC. Usher. Lou Reed. Billy Joel. Maroon 5. Whitney Houston. Alicia Keys. It's all about one thing. Is the song good enough? And that's how he gets off. He had a reputation for having a, a golden ear. He would take an artist and a song and say, you should do this song. And every time he submits one, I say, I don't think that's a good song at all. I think you're crazy. <laughs> and he's always right. Clive was the first guy that took us seriously. He knew he was hearing a new sound. There was a hip hop revolution. What do you look for in an artist? Well, you either got it or you don't have it. She's got she it. She got it. Wait till you hear her. Here's Whitney Houston. There are just a few artists that define his career, but invariably, people talk about Whitney. Seven number one singles, tie the Beatles record. It went bananas. Her version of the Star Spangled Banner at the Super Bowl is such an old time classic. Nobody comes even close. There was unprecedented success. And then, of course, you know, the downfall. Clive really has a weakness for artists. It all stems from that authentic love of music. Everybody searching for a hero. That range of Kenny G to the notorious B.I.G. That's a distance. I decided... He kind of has a certain movement that he does with his finger when it's coming to the climax. <laughs> You're talking about the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. He's made the soundtrack for our lives. 